Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to discuss Bitcoin and the potential directions that it could go. Uh, but more importantly, we're looking for trades, right? We're looking for trades. That's what we do. We're traders out here. Been doing this for eight years. And we did actually highlight a trade this morning on the free version of Patreon uh, that, uh, yeah, I do talk about a lot, but it's free, right? You just go on Patreon, you press follow, no credit card, no nothing. And uh, yeah, we put this signal out four hours ago and we said, hey, if we get over this trend line, we're looking for that long, we're looking for that bad boy in there, right? Right. So, uh, yeah, good stuff there. Nice little position. Nice little bang for you guys if you did get it. Uh, unfortunately, again, I was busy. But, uh, yeah, we can move on from this point and start targeting other things. Uh, what I don't like about this four hour, and it will be finished by the end of this video, is uh, the fact that it's wicking right now. Okay, and we're also seeing... If we do look on the hourly uh, and we look at the volume here, right? So these three moving averages, uh, it's not as high as I would like it to be as of right now. So we're gonna have to watch this one. And if it does go underneath, then uh, we're, we know it's more likely to be a trap here where we do just kind of fizzle out uh, on this move and head down. But more importantly, let's head over to some on-chain stuff here, guys, because uh, that's what's important. It's Monday, you guys know the deal. On Monday, I give you all the macro stuff uh, that you should be kind of looking at for for the general direction for the week, right? And if we are looking right now, just typically with the, with the liquidation heat map, again, this isn't on-chain, but uh, it is important in terms of macro. We are just seeing, yeah, a bit of a random walk here. They clearly just wanted to liquidate this bad boy here for 100 mil, and now it's come down. So uh, very, very likely we do head down uh, and start banging uh, banging these low 54s again. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on that one. Um, besides that, let's take a look at Caprol because we got new updates on this front. All right, so energy value dumping down another 400 bucks here. So 74.4 now. You guys know the deal with this right if we get above it we go parabolic we go long we make copious amounts of cash that's how it works every single time okay every single time even this time here right we can see this time here it doesn't look that much it's like a 2x okay it's a 2x you can't complain or at least 80 percent there profit so yeah that's what we're looking for in terms of a big long investment trade all right 74.4 to be broken uh, but besides that yeah we do have some other stuff to show you and it's not too bad okay it's not too bad right now because we were expecting this to turn red and it did not all right, when this is red, we are in bear market territory, as you can see here, very bad. And all this is, guys, just, just to be blunt, all this is, is uh, it, it measures open interest, it measures the on-chain, it measures energy consumption, it measures hash rate, all of this stuff, right? Uh, and then compiles it into something that's potentially bullish or bearish or neutral, right? Right now, we are in the neutral territory, slowing down after our bullishness of this run, okay? So uh, yeah, we're, we're waiting to see for next week to see if this turns red or not. If it doesn't turn red, it's actually potentially good sign if we are looking uh, at the the general time frame that these like to stay orange for right so we can see here in previous runs the 2017 run uh, that uh, yeah I mean it was quick recoveries every time once it was in this orange section and we, we we're kind of past that point now so we should be expecting uh, some kind of pump soon uh, whether it's a, a re complete recovery guys or whether it's just gonna be some sideways action before um, <clears throat> before, yeah, probably a recovery towards the end of the year anyway for Bitcoin. Oh, and I did have one more thing to show you in terms of where is the bottom for Bitcoin here. And you can just see this in oscillator format as well, right? Uh, you can see, yeah, we're not even close to the red. So yeah, a little bit of hope there in terms of Bitcoin bull market action. All right. But if we are going back to production cost here, guys, uh, I haven't brought this up in a while, but we can see here that uh, typically this lower line here is roughly where our bottoms are with Bitcoin throughout its history. We usually get around this point and then we bang it okay so where is that level right now just for your information it is currently at 46.2 which is pretty bearish <laughs> it's pretty bearish but uh yeah i mean if we did get down to 46 it's definitely a time to be looking at a long we we don't go below this we have never gone below this so i would be ex using this as the ultimate support for bitcoin generally okay and the last time we hit it we had uh, a big big reaction from it right so uh, yeah we are looking at that 46.2 area and if we do get another continuation of this downtrend then uh, this would be the area i will be buying the dip hard okay i'll be buying that bad boy uh, not just for the the entire run but i think a quick 30 to 50 percent pump there uh, makes sense right next up electricity consumption index you guys know the deal with this thing right when it's up here we should be expecting a top to form when it's down uh, i mean it's it's pretty bad for bitcoin it means uh, the miners are capitulating essentially right just just to put it bluntly you can see right now it is down it has tried to recover it hasn't done well <laughs> and now it is just being uh flatlined right now so yeah pretty bad 
pretty bad for this one. So on-chain generally not great slash neutral. All right. Uh, and then besides that, we have highlighted some levels in which uh, we're looking to buy Bitcoin when it does get super low down here. I'm just trying to find the on-chain stuff. Here we go. Yeah. So uh, not the on-chain ETF stuff next. Right. So uh, last week we did end pretty badly. OK, so you can see here uh, the third and is this the second and third here? Yeah, second and third of this month here. We did get two negative outflows here, uh, which is 13 mil and uh, minus uh, 20 mil. But before that, it was looking a, a little bit better starting to pick up here. Um, we are seeing as well that, uh, yeah, I mean, it is just staying within that kind of 100 mil to minus 100 mil range, right? Or 200 to minus 200 which is uh, interesting, right? Uh, and when we when we are expecting massive pumps or massive moves, uh, it, it seems to be, and again, this is new data, so it's not super conclusive, but it seems to be when we do get massive inflows uh, on a day or on a week uh, of uh, the Bitcoin ETF, then yeah, I mean, we do get massive price action and supply crunch to support that as well, right? If you do want to check any of this stuff out, feel free uh, to head over to the Discord and head over to these websites. But uh, also, yeah, if you do want these signals, I put out three updates for you today uh, for the paid members and again guys very very simple right uh, 10 bucks a month or if you want a bunch of different stuff like discounts on trading courses blah 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 indicators volume weighted ATR band then feel free to head over there but let's just head into the charts right now okay we're heading right into the charts don't worry okay we are good and uh, we're pretty much done with this chart right now because uh, it's it's done right the move's done we're out get it get it i mean we didn't get in but i mean we're out so <laughs> it's cool uh, and if we are looking at this generally uh yeah this is not good enough this is a broadening wedge and we don't trade those on bitcoin you guys know the deal with that y you don't you don't trade broadening wedge on bitcoin or even crypto generally uh, just just because there's no kind of coiling up and exploding which is typically how the crypto industry behaves on a trading front anyway um whereas if we get these kind of big broadening things then it's, it's a lot harder pr to predict moves generally and yeah it's just less reliable in terms of measure moves right so if we are looking at this right now in terms of four hour action we are currently above this uh the four hour volume weighted atr band we were saying that we need to stay above there to initiate any kind of big moves uh, we are seeing that this four hour candle is actually it's actually uh, trying to fight for the 21 year is this 21 ema is it though? Yeah, it's 21 EMA, uh, this yellow line coming through. And uh, yeah, it has just smashed through the uh, the seven. What is wrong with my brain today? <laughs> the seven SMA here coming through. Sorry, guys, it's been a pretty heavy weekend for me. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of kind of a, a little bit recovery mode right now. But uh, yeah, we are seeing two minutes left on this candle. We are seeing us trying to reclaim this. The fact that we are uh, smashing through the 7SMA and we've got this wick here, I would say in the next four hours, I would expect us to come down and absorb that wick. Okay, and just test that 7SMA one more time on the four hour. All right, and then if it wants to continue up from there, fantastic stuff. Okay, we will be trying to find some kind of longs. And let's just go through that today here. Why is Google, stop, why are you, no. My Google just, Gemini just, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> what is this video? I'm thinking about starting this again, but I think I, I got it. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. Um, yeah, there was another trade here we were looking for today, which was uh, breaking the low on Bitcoin coming down to the daily volume weighted ATR band. This is basically free money if this happens. Okay, if we do get a crashing scenario, guys, then uh, yeah, we just wait to break this low. We bang it in uh, from 53 Three, we'll call it all the way down 4% move to 51k okay in a downtrend when we are getting these violent dumps this is absolutely justifiable and this makes sense okay uh, so yeah if you can find this trade fantastic stuff just be careful of the wicks I want to see like a 15 minute close down here uh, anyway the pace has kind of been dictated today if we do uh, look at this 15 minute right uh, we are seeing big moves in the 15 minute candles so we have to be careful with that but ideally we get a 15 minute close down here we come back up we retest we break the low we get in you guys know the drill all right you guys know it um but yeah nice four percent trade there towards the upside uh if we zoom this on out we are seeing that broader resistance coming through here we can get above this 60 minute volume weighted atr band i'm just gonna make this in the middle for you guys a little bit easier right we can get above this kind of area right 62k i know it's super far away right now but uh, it's worth mentioning as we are talking about macro today right if we can break above this breakdown point here right then uh it's fantastic news for bitcoin and uh it could spell for a really nice recovery coming through right uh, not to mention a beautiful uptrend off of the 60 minute which we can trade along the way right so if we get something like this then uh, yeah we can trade that stop loss on this volume weighted atr band 
and, and go from there. Okay, thank you for liking the video. If you have, if you haven't, absolutely fine, no problem. I get it. Okay, leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what's what's good. What would you like to see? I'm here for you guys at the end of the day, right? But uh, if we are looking at this on the broader scale, it doesn't look great, okay? We are literally in the middle of a measure move all the way down to 50K, okay? We are outside the trap zone or we're trying to reclaim claim it. <clears throat> and actually, guys, just being short here, not a problem, okay? I, I would probably... Like I would, I, I would argue a strong case that short here is okay. Uh, just, the, just based on the fact that we've got out of this trap zone, we've initiated this measure move, we've had an initial pump off of a, a support, right? So coming down for another wave and just completing this measure move does make a lot of sense to me. All right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we will be looking for shorts here for sure. As you can see, guys, uh, with the bull market barrier, it's finally turned red over multiple days. And you know what happens when it turns red, guys? You know what happens when it turns red? Bad, very bad for Bitcoin if it turns red. Uh, and usually it doesn't even turn red in the middle of a bull run, as you can see here, right? Uh, even in this kind of slower pullback that we were comparing it to previously, right? And again, this is 2016, uh, the run up to 2017, right? We were expecting something like this, but uh, no, it's just broke straight through. So uh, what we will say with this is we are in new territory for Bitcoin, okay? We are in new territory. This hasn't happened mid-cycle before, okay? So what we will say is all these new variables could spell for us to have what we were talking about in the previous video, which is uh, like a mini crypto winter as we just kind of find a support because we did get a really aggressive pump up this year and last year, right? So what we want really is uh, just to come back, retest these levels, have a bit of a chill time. What we got 44, 43K here. And if we do head back to, uh, to this bad boy, right? Where is it? Where's all my stuff got? There we go. Yeah. We do head back to this bad boy. Where Where is this coming in? 46K for the electrical cost or production cost for Bitcoin. Okay. And this, as we said, is where we're targeting for lows. Okay. So 46.2 is going to be the area we're watching. If we go back to trading view here and just align that with any supports, we've got 42 here. All right. If we do head up, I mean, it's not that far. It's not that far away. Okay. Bear in mind, it's just 10,000 buck drop away here at 46.2. And again, all of those reactions, when we do hit that bottom line, the production cost line, right, uh, we do get strong reactions from it. So if it is going to complete this measure move, guys, over the next week, then uh, a wick down to that 46.2 area and then a bounce makes a lot of sense, okay? And not just because of the measure moves and uh, the production cost, but also because our main structure line here is, is, our main structure line is here as well, right? We're seeing this white line here. This is super important for our run, okay? We are technically bullish if we're above it okay we are in a bearish spell right now so uh yeah we're going to look at this 46k area and we're going to be saying hey this is the area where we're going to be looking to buy okay that's the facts that's what i'm looking for okay uh, and if we can get a nice decent bit of profit here i don't see why we shouldn't unless it's a swan event and we just smash through right but typically off the bat here if we hit this area i am expecting a strong reaction uh, whether it is up to 56 again where this trend line will be or whether it is just a, a continue continue through scenario what is wrong with my brain today in terms of words <laughs> yeah, apologies for this guys but uh hopefully this is coming across right hopefully hopefully uh this is valuable to you to say the least uh, and then yeah obviously if we can recover from this point what we're looking for really is a, a reclamation or a re reclaiming this uh this three-day volume weighted atr band if we can get above there 62.4 really really good news for bitcoin and it's something where we we probably oscillate a little bit more to be blunt and honest right we probably do oscillate a bit more go sideways but uh it's it's a lot more productive for bitcoin in terms of building structure back up to where we were right uh, so that's pretty much what i'm going for here with bitcoin um apologies for the long video again uh, we were targeting uh, the cme trade here uh, over the weekend but unfortunately we did dump back to that uh, before the weekend ended right if we if we'd stayed up here uh, and monday had started we could basically blindly short into this and get a huge trade right but unfortunately yeah it did overnight here for me anyway uh, did kind of get back to this level and then fell off a little bit and then pumped up and yeah it's it's very random right now for sure but uh, as of right now yeah we are chilling we're waiting for that next opportunity again just to summarize we break this low here at 53 four i'm looking for a trade down to 51 three easy game okay if we break this resistance here okay at about 62k i'm looking for a trade up to about 66k that's going to be a massive massive trade and then in between that kind of time if you are a bit of a leverage junkie guys i mean you could chalk up some patterns here you really could 
I mean, you could still chalk up this one. This one's a pretty decent one. <clears throat> yeah, pretty decent one here, as I just... Yeah, <laughs> uh, there is actually another measure move here, right? So on the hourly, we can see if we do get over this area here, 58.9, then uh, you could probably take a trade up. I wouldn't go for the whole measure move here. I'd probably stop around 60, just personally. Um, but there is a small trade there you could take, right? And I say small trade, but yeah, a couple percent there. You can't go wrong. A couple percent, can't go wrong there uh, if we do want to break these highs, but riskier. And uh, again, more for the leverage junkies if, if, you, if you're so inclined for that stuff, right? But anyway, that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully, I've given you some value here today. If I have, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, yeah, if, if uh, you do want these daily free Bitcoin signals like the one we had today that did a banger of a, what was it, 1.8%, something like this? I, I can't even remember. But uh, yeah, a banger of a trade there if you were just following me for free on Patreon, right? It's not, you don't have to pay. You just press follow. I'll Okay, and then you get that signal for free. So feel free to do that. If not, absolutely fine. Enjoy the free content. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and goodbye. From me, Hamilton.